welcome to our fourth episode of user security governance in microsoft dynamics 65 finance and operations if you have missed to watch the previous three episodes i would strongly recommend you to watch those episodes before watching this in this lesson i will unbox explain and demonstrate a new feature in user security governance framework called privileged user management this feature is quite interesting in the traditional audit process auditor would sit beside users to observe their daily work or specific processes. With privileged user management, this is no longer necessary. Instead, the system records all user activities, which the system administrator can export as a Word file or an XDR file. This allows auditors to review the activities at their convenience in D65 finance and operations, or refer to the steps in the exported Word documents. This feature serves two purposes, in my opinion, which is it facilitates audits and it ensures users do not engage in unauthorized activities maintaining a comprehensive record within Dynamics 65 Finance and Operations. Let's see. Now I'm in Microsoft Dynamics 65 Finance and Operations. Like I mentioned in my previous episodes, to use user security governance framework features, we need to enable the user security governance feature from feature management and once it is done. The security governance framework with all these new features will be enabled. And the privileged user management feature is this. We need to click on this user privileged user management feature. And this is the form of the privileged user management, which I am going to demonstrate in this lesson. Assume an end to an external or internal audit process is going on. And as part of the audit process, the ask from the auditor is to have end to end process step performed by the users or you can call it a trace of the user's activity performed throughout the day. Whatever work is performed by the users, those have to be captured and sent back to the auditor. Let's see how we can do this in the 65 finance and operations. I will confirm the privileged user management for a user called Paul and I will perform the activity from Paul's system and we'll show you the end result of it. I'll click new. I will select Paul. I will select form date to to date. I want to enable this press. So I will select 20. It is giving me error that it, it should not be earlier than the current date and time. So I will select say suppose 57 a.m. Two digit only because I want this process to be ended and then I can show you the result. So here three ten and I'll select description accountant audit. It will come by default user enable. It will show you user station activities will be recorded using task recorder. Audit log. In this tab, you will see all the activity which a system administrator is performing while activating this privilege user management for this user. It will show you the changes, user log, on time and all. And this is the recordings will be added here. So once the process is ended, then I will show you how it is coming. Once this setup is done, I will go to this option called change status where I will select approve because I'm approving being a system administrator. Okay. And once it is approved, the status will change to approved. And then I need to click on process if I am doing this for the first time. Okay. But as part of this process, when while I was testing this, I've created this as part of batch processing. So if you are doing this for the first time, you can think of a recurrence batch. Okay, so this process is running in this batch is running in background. So for me, I don't need to click OK. The batch will activate this one. How I will understand this is activated or not? This audit log, there is an audit log in this tab. It will show you whether it is updated, updated or not. Now you see the status has changed to executing. That means it is active. What I will do now, I will log in using this Paul's ID. And I will perform the activities and then 
we will see the, we will see the end result i have logged in using paul's account paul at the cps paul at the on microsoft.com this is not system admin this is a user whom i have enabled the user, privileged user management now if you see there is a new i option is coming which is asking for consent like this session is being recorded by your system administrator using task recorder by continuing you consent to this recording if you do not consent please close this application for any question connect to this this basically uh, asking for the consent because a user should have some acknowledgement part whether he or she is acknowledging or accepting this recording so i will not close it i will go with this flow i will perform some activity from paul's id example i will create some general ledger journal entries i'll go to general ledger journal entries and remember paul has accepted for this recording so whatever he is doing everything is recorded by this feature and it is throughout the day whatever paul's whatever he is doing it will be recorded so i'll click on new here also you will see the notification the session is the session is being recorded by your system administrator using task recorder by continuing your consent to this recording if you do not consent please close this application for any question contact your system administrator so every form every activity they will do they will get a notification like this so i will select something here i will select the account so this journal i have posted i will do another activity like i will create a vendor i'll quickly uh, give you details with number single is not set up that's that fine i will select this and i will give very basic basic details and i will just save it again i am getting this notification so i think this is enough uh, for this demo let's see the end result so i will now go back to the system administrator so i am back with the system administrator profile and you will see still it is executing because the date and time we have mentioned it is not past yet it's 3:10 am and now it is 3:6 so i will wait for some time now let's check i will refresh this one and you will see the time is over till 3:10 and still 10 is passed and the status is audit log it is sta stating is ended so bad job has ended this user management session here you will see the login time for the users online time 59 seconds and then i mean whatever the activities or online time user does it will show here now important and the ultimate thing which is your recordings so you see there are two recordings one recordings for one session another recording is for another session so if i click on download file it will be downloaded so if you click on download it will only download the axtr file however as i mentioned it is also possible to download the step performed in word document as well we will see how to do that before that we will download both the files we we'll click on download file so to get the steps in word document click on this task recorder and this option will open like task recorder to say your recording is ready you can click on export to word document and it will be downloaded automatically i will just open it to see is a log whatever the steps we have performed like general ledger and uh, vendors creation of vendors everything is captured in the word document okay this is one another is the xtr file say i will go back to the return menu and now it's time to send these details or document to the auditors so how we can do that i mean 
of course it will be sent manually but when we share these details like xtr file and what document the auditor can come into the system uh, they can play this task recorder or recordings like recording guide play recording as recording guide or playback recording what the user have done they can play back the recording example play recording as guide i will select open from this pc select browse and then this one and then open task guide save these steps will be added here it's basically the simple a normal process for task recorder if the auditor wants to play the recording they can click on open from pc and they can open they can open the xtl file which has been generated by the system for the user i click start and play all pending steps it will automatically perform all the tasks performed by the user so now it is automatically happening i am not doing anything it is creating the data in the system the way its user has created so, so this is how this privileged user management feature will help editors to save a lot of time rather than sitting beside of the user they can ask this document from the system administrator user can perform their task without any worry and everything will be recorded and that can be shared to auditors back